It has been another night of wild weather. Good evening. I'm Chris Flanagan. I'm Danita Harris. We'll survey the damage in Brunswick in just a moment. But right now, let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson for more details. All right. A sneaky tornado snuck down out of the clouds tonight through uh, portions of Medina County. Here's our radar screen. Let's zoom on in and show you the storms rumbling by Medina County. And we believe we know why this actually happened just a little while ago. In fact, I want to show you this is our wind velocity product at the precise moment, 7.09 p.m., the damage occurred in Brunswick. And I posted this on Twitter and Facebook. Find the tornado. There is no signature or spin in these clouds that we can see here on radar that would tell us a tornado is about to touch down or is touching down. All right, that was dilemma number one. Let's go to our uh, Weather 2 computer here real quickly, and we'll show you something very interesting. Notice the lake breeze sliding right there sitting right over Brunswick at about 640. See the lake breeze right there? It interacts with this straight line wind squall line coming north and east. Those two fronts meet, cause a little bit of a spin for about three minutes, and right over Brunswick we have the tornado damage. So you can actually call this a lake breeze induced tornado. Very plain to see on radar that lake breeze sliding south and those severe storms with the straight line wind gusts sliding north, when the two fronts meet, they cause, they spin around each other, and boom, there you have your tornado damage. These are next to impossible to predict when they're going to happen, folks. And again, this tornado likely was on the ground for a couple of minutes and then back up between our radar scans. So we're all sitting here going, Shh, we're just glad nobody was injured. We'll talk about the potential for more severe storms coming your way tomorrow when we come back in a minute.